All right, y'all, what's going on? We're doing another flight sim video. We're going to check out some more of the UK Ireland update. Uh, with the update came two new landing challenges. It is the this one here, Out Scaries EG78 United Kingdom and Southampton EGHI United Kingdom. So I have done these already. Uh, I did not do them very well. I only tried them like twice each and then I just went on to do other things uh, but I figured I'd go back and try to get some better scores I think last time I got like a six on one of these like I totally just biffed it so not sure which one I do first I guess I'll do this one I hate this plane I think this uh, DA62 the, I think it's like really underpowered I just don't like the way it flies and that runway is pretty short if I remember from doing this last time but either way it gives you a look at the new update the new landing challenges that came with the update and some of the new scenery that came along with that too so here it kind of shows the approach it wants us to do and our speeds recommended speeds it shows our wind is 14 knots uh, these are in the strong wind category which there's three categories of landing challenges there is Iconic, which just takes you over, uh, you know, really, uh, really popular skylines like big cities, you know, like stuff that everybody knows, like JFK, stuff like that. Um, then there's the epic ones, those are more of like the harder airports to land at, you know, the ones that are like high in the mountains or like geographically the approach is really hard or, um, Stuff like that. The second one is harder. First one's the easiest. Third one is the hardest. Third one is the strong wind. So these are both going to be in the hardest category of landing challenges. Maybe one day I'll get famous on YouTube and I can put some more uh, hard drive space in this computer and load in a little faster. I'm running on a regular hard drive right now. If I had an SSD, it would be so much faster. Here we are in a little plane that I hate. I mean, it looks cool and everything, but I just think, I mean, it's got two engines, but it's like so overpowered. Why do I have no avionics? What is that? What is that? Is that, what kind of glitch is that? I have no avionics. Uh, avionics. Alright, so I guess we're doing a landing challenge for real. Coming a little close to the cliff there. See, I mean, that's kind of like what I mean. I, we're already falling out of the sky. I haven't even touched this thing. I have no airspeed, I have no indication of anything other than how freaking banked I am. This is... How did we spawn in with no avionics? This is just junk. Junk. Um, and my flaps are already down. And so what, is my gear down too? I don't know, I don't have three green either. So I have a flaps indication, so I'm on landing flaps. My flaps are all the way down. The gear is not fixed on this plane, it is right here, so my gear is up. So I should probably go ahead and put that down before we're going to winter. Okay, so we're, we will get three green. So there's our three green. Now where the heck is this, where did the runway go? It's like right there, okay. Uh, do we have a compass of any kind that works? Oh, I have an airspeed. Okay, so we're 104 knots. Is that right? 104 knots, Vero is 2992. Is that a compass? No. I don't have a compass. This is just junk. It 
So I'm just going to have to make a super wide approach on this just to even be somewhere near lined up. This is ridiculous. It's probably going to like time us out before we leave. I don't remember being like this with no avionics last time. I think that's some kind of glitch that we're having. So I can see what the, I'm aiming for here somewhere, but I do not know the, the runway ahead. And we're probably like, we're pretty close to full throttle, but with the flaps and the gear down, like I'm still having to like nose up this thing to stay in the air. So I guess in real life I would be like radioing into the ATC and declaring emergency right now that I don't have any heading or whatever and they, they would probably put someone outside in the tower and visually just direct me in, you know. There's a boat down in that harbor though, it's pretty neat. Alright, where is this runway? Actually, it's back here, I think. I, I don't say I think. I'm trying not to cheat and jump in the outside view. Oh no, the runway's over here. I see the, that is kind of a cheat. I see the landing zone for the landing challenge. The, the blue box that they put down, that's where you're supposed to touch your wheels down to get the best scores inside that box. I gotta lose some speed here. Oh, see, this thing just plummets out of the sky. Like, I'm, Install one. Oh god. Oh, we're just oh we're scraping the wing on the ground. I'm going, I'm pulling back up. Oh jeez, that was we were that wing tip was scraping the ground. Did you guys hear that? Oh my Oh, it's gonna fail us. Touchdown cancelled. Alright, uh, let's restart and I and I'm almost sure we're gonna have avionics this time. That was just, that was just not good, not good. And look, avionics, what do you know? So this will make it a little easier. That was a good little challenge inside of a challenge though, and I, I got close. I guess if you want to call that close. So basically, we want to line ourselves up just to the right of that boat. Actually, we want to come right in between these two boats. Just in case we lose avionics again, now we have a visual reference. We check our flaps again. Our flaps is full. It's telling the computer heats off. Turn that on again. I don't know why they spawn that off. Um, let's see. Our it's up. I'm gonna leave that up. I'm gonna wait. Since this thing likes it, I mean, look how close we're falling out of the sky already. I haven't touched anything. This plane just. It, I don't like it. Barely stays in the air. Like, it can't even get out of its own way. But yeah, it's got two engines. But, like, I mean, just because you got two engines, I mean, I could put three engines in my car, but how heavy would it be after that? Three 
300 feet. Alright, so there's a boat. the runway, I see it, perfect. And they put all these power lines right here, too. Oh, we gotta gear down. Canceled us again. This one's hard, man. I've been having trouble with this one. Like I said, I only tried it twice before and twice now, so this makes it the fifth time. So, fifth time's a charm, I suppose. I don't like the flaps or something like it's too much flaps so what if I I'm just gonna land and I know I probably shouldn't try this but I'm just gonna take off one notch of flaps we're gonna land at flaps one instead of full flaps we're going right in the middle between no flaps and full flaps and, and maybe I'll pull full flaps right at the end there but I think this is gonna be better for whatever the wind is doing right now and whatever uh, our speeds need to be because I'm just like falling out of the sky as soon as I take any throttle out. That pita is off. I don't know if that's pronounced pito or pito or pitant. I don't know how that's. I'm assuming it's pito. Pito P. Water turn there and I really wanted to. But at least I can see on my map here, like my runway heading and everything. Alright, we're breaking the gear down. some throttle. Hopefully we won't fall as fast this time with the flaps. Oh, this is, I made a wider turn there than I wanted to as well. I just, I don't like this plane. Period. The end. Like, I, I hate it. You can't see. It doesn't, I don't like the way it flies. Alright, I'm gonna bring in that last notch of flaps now just to help the It's so 
skinny. And there's a ditch on the side and put it in the water. Nice. Alright, we're ditching that. Screw that. Screw that plane. I hate it. So here you see, oh, it's famous, it's not iconic. It's famous, epic, and strong wind. Um, I do like this plane, however, I suck at landing this plane. But if you want to get into Microsoft Flight Sim and fly some aerobatic stuff, that is the plane for you. So this plane is fast, and it has no flaps to help us slow down. It's also a tail dragger, so there's no, it only had, there's no like triangle of wheels. It has no uh, nose wheel. It's got two wheels underneath the front wings, and then it's got the one caster wheel on the tail. Um, so it's a little bit harder to control on the runway and to, to land and you don't quite land the same way you would land a normal plane where the rear wheels touch first and then the, the nose wheel slightly drops as you get down the runway. It's more like you land on the two wheels up front first and then the rear wheel slowly drops. So here you see what I'm talking about with the, uh, the wheel setup. Oh, this wind is real. It is very real. So you'll see it's also a, a center stick. Um, and I have the throttle control mixture, or not throttle control, this is throttle control, this is our propeller RPM, this is our uh, fuel mixture. And I'm assuming we are meant to be landing, yeah, right over there on that runway, you'll see that blue box, that's what we're shooting for. And we are flying right into a storm. trimming up just a little bit. I'm going to start making a slight left turn. perpendicular with the runway for now, which we pretty much are. You can see the four white happy lights there. I will be trying to use those. All white means you're too high, all red means you're too low. What you want to see is too red and too white on each side. And that will just show me that I am on a visual glide path at the correct angle and height. I'm going to trim up a little bit more. Oh, and this plane is super twitchy on the ailerons because it, it will do um, acrobatics and stuff. I think I had a request to do a barrel roll 
uh, at some point. So I thought, well, on the next time when I spawn into this plane, we'll do a little barrel roll. I had red, and now it went to white. So I'm high. There goes a red. There's two red, two white. So I want to stay at this angle of approach all the way to my blue box. I missed my blue box, and we're bouncing. We bounced, we touched, we bounced. We're gonna come down again. I'm still bouncing, still bouncing. Oh, and he left rudder. Oh, we're going in the grass. See, I always have trouble landing this plane. I, I need to use the synthetic vision more, I think, because once the once the, the tail drops, which it might not even be... Yeah, see, my tail's not even dropped yet. And that's, that's part of my problem, is I'm not getting it down fast enough. Oh, I'm going to those rocks, yep. Alright. I'm coming in too fast with that plane, I guess. So another thing about this plane, and uh, so when you're solo and flying this thing, you can only fly it from the back seat. You know, there's, there's two seats. Um, but even though it shows someone else in there, it doesn't come out of the cockpit, just so I'll be able to see, I guess, see past their head. There's our runway up there. having to constantly go up and down with the throttle and you can hear the wind messing with the propeller as well. I'm going to try to come in as slow as I can this time without stalling. I'm assuming the stall speed on this thing is just like ridiculously low. And I'm, I fly Airbus and stuff a lot, and I'm used to coming in fast. 
that wind, what is it doing right now? I don't even have time to try to find it on there. But it is pushing us. You can see now I'm red on the pappy lights. I'm coming in low. I'm coming in low and slow this time. I'm just going to go ahead and cut the throttle right here at the head of the runway and we're just going to float ourselves down. We did hit a little hard but we didn't, uh, oh gosh, this thing is all over the place. Shut it down, shut it down. Oh, 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 God, this thing is just ridiculously, if I, oh, runway donut, runway donut. I don't need, I didn't even see what the score was. I was just, I was going to do runway donuts. Three hundred forty-three thousand. So we are thirty-five hundred and eighty-fifth in the world. <laughs> of course, the world top ten. You'll see. Of course, they're all like one point eight million crazy people. I, I did have a top ten in, in the world. It was on. Uh, it's gone now. Someone else has, has beat me out. But I did place seventh in one of these challenges. Man, I, I'm not very good with either one of those planes. Uh, so here's we'll, all right. So we'll just end on this. The last thing they did with the UK update, aside from just the whole country, which we can go fly around and see all the new scenery. The other thing they did was they added a iconic flight, which is just like something from history of the UK or something. You know, it's a pre-programmed thing that they want you to go and uh, check out. And this one, I've already done it, but I, I loaded it up the first time. This is famously known as the shortest regularly scheduled commercial route in the world. It's the flight between Orkney Islands of Westray and Papa Westray in the north of Scotland. It carries over 1.7 miles and takes an average of two minutes from takeoff to landing. But yet this is a regularly scheduled commercial route. Um, takes an average of two minutes from takeoff to landing or less than half that time with the ideal wind conditions. So if you have a tailwind, it's just going to just blow you right across. Um, however, this brief jaunt is not short on remarkable scenery from the shallow emerald green waters that separate these once joined land masses to archaeological sites in the area that date back as far as 3500 BC. For this iconic flight, you'll be piloting your Beechcraft Bonsai or Bonanza. G36 with the perfect utility aircraft for a quick trip in the timeless Northern Isles. So we're going to show you that and then I'm going to hop off here and think about doing a live stream actually. Um, so if you guys see me upload a, a live stream or if you are on YouTube and you see me live streaming, be sure to click on it, be sure to watch it.
It's always cloudy and rainy over here. That that was that was probably the whole update. Make it cloudy and rainy. Alright, we've got a prop RPM, a mixture control, a throttle control, we have no reverse thrust. There's our AC controls. Why is it set to 58? I can't change it, can I? 58 is cold, man. Alright, avionics master's on. Of course, that's inoperative because it's a default aircraft. Strobe is on, beacon light is on, nav light is on, uh, pedo heat will come on. It's saying low volts, that's just because we have no throttle right now. You see, I just gave it a little bit and that went away. Our gear's down, our flaps are up, so I'm going to go ahead and put out a stage of flaps for takeoff. Uh, just looking around, making sure. Nothing is on that doesn't need to be on, or off that needs to be on. Alright, so we're looking pretty. Is this the runway? No, that's the runway. Okay. Uh, we probably should ATC this thing, right? Since this is a. Uh... So. Just gonna announce our taxi. Echo Golf, Echo Whiskey Traffic, Beachcraft, Alpha Sierra, X Ray Golf is taxiing to runway Niner. We're gonna turn off this parking brake and bring her up and get rolling into the rain. Oh, you get going down that hill pretty quick. Still getting used to switching that brake control from the button to the actual rudder triggers on my Xbox controller. Seems to work a little better, but I'm just not used to uh, doing that movement. I'm still like reaching for that button instead of the triggers. I think I was supposed to take off the other way. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to go down here, turn around, take off the other way, and we'll just turn around once we get in the air. That was aggressive. The brakes work. The brake check was successful. I suck at the brakes. I forgot to announce our departure, but screw it. There's no one out here, no one else is flying this crap. We almost didn't make it off the runway there. Jeez. I'm struggling to gain altitude right now. Might have brought the flaps in a little early. 
about it ain't gonna take no two minutes today. We're taking the, the long way around. Look at the white water on the waves. It's just like a flash in red, but I can't, I'm trying to gain altitude, but I'm not what I'm meant to, to do. not even a far enough flight to even set up autopilot or anything like that, so you're just... I mean, you could if you were really quick about it. Oh, that's the ground. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing I'm not a regularly scheduled commercial pilot for this round. I mean, if I was, I'd probably be a lot better at it. Though. Oh, my goodness. This is, and we're probably going to see the runway, like, right at the last minute. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Ha! Yeah, not making that. Going around. stage of flaps back in, it's just going to help us stay in the air. I only have a hundred, roughly 200 feet of altitude at the moment. I'm flying mostly with this right now, as, as well as this. See the runway. Oh, I can see the lights barely. Bringing in the flaps, bringing out the gear, bringing down the throttle. We're basically just no throttle right now, I'm just making a mad dash for it. This might actually turn out alright. As we get the stall hard. A little bounce there and a little bit off to the edge of that runway, but hey. <laughs> there might have been a scream or two, but that's alright. There's always that one. Oh, uh, the brakes. ABS is kicking in. <laughs> and it automatically just finishes us, we don't get to turn the plane off or anything, so. Interesting, interesting stuff, to say the least. Looks like we're at about 45 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and end it there, and this will probably be the shortest video I've posted so far, but hey, some people like that, so. Keep you posted on some more videos, make sure you come back to watch some more, 
I'm really trying to post as many videos as I can to just to help grow the channel as quickly as possible. So like it, give it the thumbs up, subscribe, all the things. Appreciate it. See you next time.